Live. February is American Heart Month, so here to share us how to eat heart healthy in a delicious way, we welcome back cooking instructor Jessica Hansen. Great to see you. Well, thank you very much. This is a fun, fun segment to do. I have to yes. say, I love pushing vegetables on people. It's what I'm kind of known for at the farm okay. is making things like <laughs> kale, You're a cabbage. vegetable pusher. Oh, I am. I'm a vegetable <laughs> pusher. And so we're going to be working with some vegetables that are appropriately in season right okay. now to make a heart healthy meal because just because it's Valentine's Day, it's of course great to celebrate next yeah. week. But why not celebrate in a way that's still helpful? Get our fiber, get our nutrients, get it all done at the same time. Absolutely. And okay. top it off with some red wine, right? Because well, it goes. of course. It goes. It's yes. heart healthy. All right. And so what we're going to make today is a really kind of quick meal, frankly, made of very, very nutritious vegetables, and that is things from the cruciferous vegetable family. Cruciferous. So a lot of, isn't that kind of fun to say? Just, Fancy. I know, it's, just a, it's a big word, but I really <laughs> like it. So we're working with cabbage and kale, and kale, this is called lacinato kale, and I consider this what I call the gateway kale, meaning it, I, yeah. it's like I can get you to eat kale if you eat this. Okay. The okay. way to do this, it, sometimes you'll see it listed as dinosaur kale, black yes. kale, but lacinato is the true name. It's okay. an Italian kale. The one thing I want to teach people, though, so that people like it yeah. is to take off this stuff. You got to get rid of that yes. first thing. Absolutely. So that's just one of the things that are important to do because if you just chop this up and leave this in, no one's going it's to too enjoy tough, it. Right? No one's yeah, going to enjoy that's it. Not so, that's not for us. Right. That's for the dinosaurs. It's the dinosaurs. <laughs> Secondly, what I would tell you to do is, um, I consider it like pre-chewing. I know that sounds good, but think about it this way. Okay. If you cut it into small enough pieces, when you put a bite of salad into your mouth, you're not like, yeah. Taking forever. And so these are some of the things that people are like, I don't really like kale because it's too chewy. It's too too much okay. texture. So not only do we take off the stem, but we also want to cut it into small pieces so that they're not spending a lot of time chewing it. Does that make sense? I do find that if kale is kind of hidden and sprinkled in things, I, you don't even really notice it. No. Even if you think you don't like kale. Right. You can kind of hide it in there and still get the nutritional value out of it. And that's, that's what we're trying to do here. So we're Beautiful. just going to make a bowl of the lacinato kale. Okay. And then also some cabbage. So a lot of people just think of cabbage as the, the big round ball and they yeah. wonder how in the world am I going to eat all that? Because right. ca cabbage is something that multiplies. It's you look at one tight ball, then you start yeah. to cut it up. You're like, this is a week's worth of cabbage. So I just like to show people of some other kinds. Like this is a Napa cabbage. This is a oh, reasonable yeah. amount of cabbage. This amount of cabbage, when cut up, turned into this amount, which is still... That is a lot. It's, it's a lot, but it's a reasonable amount. Yeah, when we, can, you would, we can tackle that. Right. So I'm going to have you mix those two together. Okay. I gloved you up. Zhuzh them up. Yep. And we're making a dressing that just has lemon, lime, and a little bit of sesame oil. Ooh. A little bit of sweetener. I choose maple. And then... Just a hint of sesame oil, as I said, Yeah. and a splash of soy. So this has, you know, a little Ooh. bit of Asian influence, but not super Asian. Sure, okay. And we're just going to give this a toss. Look how pretty those greens are, Isn't too. Isn't it nice? And so we just take a little bit of that dressing. Now this is why I give you gloves. That way you can mix that in there without getting your hands greasy. Okay, okay. And then fresh mint. Yum. Fresh cilantro. Ooh, I like cilantro. And then some green onions, scallions, whatever you like yes. to call them, and just the green parts. I like all of these things. Right? Now see, look at all of this color that you're yeah. getting. So when you're taking in this amount of color, you have to think of all the beta carotene, there are right. phytochemicals, there are glucosylates. There's all sorts of really great things in this that are anti-inflammatory, they reduce atherosclerosis, mm -hmm. they're just really great nutrients in that Beautiful. salad. Beautiful. So, why not finish it off with just a little bit of aged oh, parmesan, please, right? Oh, please, cheese. And then nuts. So today okay. I brought both almonds and peanuts. Both are toasted. How do you feel? Which which feels right Can to you today? Can we have both? Is that wrong? No, you do you. I I I don't want any of them to feel left out. Oh. <laughs> Did you also sleep with all of your stuffed animals at once? I'm just Oh my thinking. gosh. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this I I get it. I feel you. So go ahead and toss that okay. all together. So you're getting the creaminess from the cheese the crunch from the nuts, mm -hmm. and all of those great vegetables. So then, the beauty of using your hands, I'll also say, this is when is you're ready. This is going really fast. Like, I should do this with salad at home all the time. Why am I not doing this at home? It's so easy. This is awesome. Pinch of red chili flakes, okay. just because that's fun. Beautiful. And then make a pile with your hands that are, are you got the gloves on? Okay. Make a pile right there. Oh gosh, how much? I don't know, you decide. <laughs> like more, bigger, bigger. More, more, more. And then more, more veggies, more, what right? you call them, cruciferous? Cruciferous. We'll say that three times fast. Yay. Then we're just taking a little bit of wild salmon that I just cooked in the pan. Oh, that looks so good. I'm I love putting that salmon. on top. And so we've got omega-3 fatty acids. We've got protein, a little bit of healthy fats. And then what I like to remind people, that vinaigrettes and salad dressings are not just about 
Oh lettuce. yeah. Why not put just a That's tiny bit dressing on That's the same one that we had. Right. Put a little bit Beautiful. on the fish, a little bit on our asparagus. And in a matter of minutes now, plus the 20 minutes gonna, that I cut things up before, let's in. be honest. This looks awesome. There's all sorts of great vegetables, great things, and some healthy fats on the and table. did you let this sit at all? Did it need some time to marinate, or can you just no. get right in there? The only thing that's really, it's going to pull flavor out of is the, the chopped garlic that's in it. Okay. Um, the rest of it is is just can go together at any point. And then I will leave this. I made way more than more I needed kale. because I love this salad so much. Mm. So I would just leave this on the kitchen counter mm -hmm. for the next few days as I'm eating it with whatever greens that I want. So you're seeing the brightness it's of so the... It's so good. It's I lemon. Love, I it's love lime. salmon so much. Yay. So you got a lot of really great things in it plus the crunch of the nuts and it makes yeah. people more familiar with using different cabbages. Again, we mentioned the whole green cabbage. This is a cute little Savoy cabbage. So they're all similar. I don't yeah. want to say the same, but there's so many different cabbages and greens that you can throw in. And Less then, intimidating than the big giant one that you think, I'm never going to eat all I'm that. I'm eat all this. Yep. Okay. And by adding a lot of fresh herbs, these are always available, frankly. Mint grows like a weed. Oh, yeah. Use them to add flavor to your salads. Make things like cabbage, which can taste a little plain, um, and kale, which not everybody loves all the time. Yeah. A lot more um, interesting when you're putting and it you into a And you can take salad. it in any direction that you want when you start with those things as a base. Absolutely. Yummy. Yeah. One other thing to think about, like think of the salad. Another hour, two hours, three yeah. hours from now, it's still going to be good because it's got the structure of kale and cabbage versus wilty lettuces. That's so true. So you could pack that as your lunch tomorrow and oh, it would still be delicious. Okay, so many good ideas. I know. Thank you so much. It was great to see you. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks so delicious much. Delicious and heart healthy. We will have more information on our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.